Growing up, if there's one thing that I knew, it's that becoming is better than being. And that's why I chose to be a work in progress, and so did you guys. Yes. It means that you are never complete, and you always have that opportunity to become someone better. And that choice mm -hmm. allowed me to be comfortable while making a mistake mm -hmm. and accepting myself <laughs> for who I am. Indeed, as GK has said, we are all a work in progress. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm AX, and I'm seated with Chris M and GK today. Welcome to Work in Progress. Thank you. Thank it's you. okay, she's taking the reins today. She's the host. It's okay, <laughs> I had, I, my feelings haven't been good. <laughs> Mm -hmm. No, 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 I was just, I, I just stole an introduction from you. Continue. Okay, there Continue, we go. Yeah. So we're going to go into a game of Jeopardy. I don't want to get Where we're... Sorry, AX, what? Jeopardy. 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 Mm. Jeopardy. <laughs> jeopardy. Uh, it's Jeopardy. I, so I, I where, thought you said Jeopardy. No, 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 no. So Jeopardy, where as uh, Chris M and I are going to <coughs> answer a series of questions mm -hmm. where well, we have to answer with, this, with the phrase, what is, mm -hmm. uh, from AX. Mm -hmm. So AX is going to be the one asking us all the questions mm -hmm. today. So AX, take it away. Okay, people say this before cheating on their diet. What is cheat day? Mm -hmm, I think so. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Ah! Number two. I think you should have allowed me to answer that. Fine. Okay. Fine. Number two. <laughs> this is the most coveted item in an African household. What, what is, is the cane? What is the remote? <laughs> <laughs> Who got okay. that one? Both of you. They're okay, both coveted fine, fine. in the African mm -hmm. household. Okay. All right. Things that shouldn't be said at work. Ooh. Ooh. What at work? What is... I farted. I'm sorry. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> that shouldn't be said anywhere. <laughs> I feel like at the doctors it, it might be important. Uh, the doctors. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all I got. What is, I won't come to, oh, I don't know. Let's go with the GKs. Let's go with the GKs. <laughs> mm. Okay, because yeah. I, I also don't have any. All mm. right. Um, only a scammer would say this. What is... I'm a Nigerian prince. Mm. <laughs> mm. What is? Send me your number. Uh, no, I think I think send me. <laughs> I was going to. I was going to say. Um, what is? Let me hold your birthday money for you. Mm. That was always the biggest scam. Now that one, the scam is the person who agrees to let that person. Yeah, to give, ah, uh, you're giving out your birthday no, money. As a, no, as a child, no. Okay, I'm referring, oh, I'm referring the to the instances where you mm. got birthday money from Shosho and Gukan. Your mom's like, let me see, let me hold on to that for like yeah, yeah, yeah. a little bit. But that's not a scam because when you ask her where's my money, she'll say the food you've eaten on the table. That's, that's the scam. scam. That's the scam. Yeah, scam. I mean, she was holding on to your money, but she's never going to give it back. She wants to buy sweets. It belongs to the household. What is a parent? Ubuntu. Um, ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, you got KFC money is mm -hmm. a quote commonly said by what is your parent? Yes, yes, you got McDonald's money, you got McDonald's money. Can we eat McDonald's? You got McDonald's money? Oh, okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Okay, mm. okay. Back in the day, if you were bad, your parents told you to get, to get this. Ah. What is the slipper? What is what the is belt? The, what is the stick? Uh, what is Mwiko, Mwiko. Mwiko. What is the, the bare hand? <laughs> How are you going to get a bare hand? Get these hands. <laughs> <laughs> Something along those lines. Yeah? Uh, yeah. So yeah, so okay. Mm -hmm. okay. What are two types of sauces found on tables during barbecues? What is pep, uh, uh, what tomato is sauce? sauce? Oh, tomato sauce? So it's sauce on a barbecue table. Mm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. And what is barbecue sauce? What is ranch? What is mustard? Okay. 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 All right. <laughs> <laughs> what is an African's favorite lie? Uh, what is? Yeah, yeah. I'll be there in five minutes. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or I'm just leaving. I'm just leaving. What is? The dog ate my homework. <laughs> uh, that's the whole world has answer. Okay, uh, fine. What okay. is an African's biggest fear? What is a snake? What is? Mm. What is? What is your parent? What is? Uh -huh. What's going on? What is not? A, a white man. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Think about it for a second. True. True. For a second. For True. a quick second. Okay. I'm taking it back to colonialism. In, in case and you imagine didn't get it. it's you, not me. Oh, uh, okay, I got it. How did? <laughs> Took you long enough. Right. Okay. <laughs> That's a nice one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the time of the year. <laughs> when broke people shine the most. Ah, what is December? The time of shine the how? Where they shine the most. Yeah. So what is payday? <laughs> oh. You have many friends, so you just 
Copper yeah. everyone, I, yes. I guess. Uh, actually, this makes sense. I, I, I've, I've heard of a few people who, who, who shine a lot during payday. Okay. So, a common phrase <laughs> used as motivation to do something stupid on video in only six seconds. Hashtag YOLO. Hashtag. What, is, what is YOLO? Um, what is do it for the vine? Mm. Remember that? Yeah, do, yeah. No, do it for the gram. Do it for the gram. What is just do it? You know those things? <laughs> just, just do it. Just do it. It's going just to be okay. It. Just, See, just, just one it. video. Just do it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Ooh, mm -hmm. things you pat when they become itchy. What is what is your dreadlocks? What you is my weave? Itchy. Oh, what, what is, is my weave? weave? Yeah. Is Have you never seen your aunties doing this? By the way, it helps. Okay, it now, really now, helps. I, I don't want to 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 mulika my aunties because it's not like I'm any better. Even me, <laughs> hey, things get rough. I'm also doing this. <laughs> the, the burdens of long hair, man. Okay. You wouldn't get it close. You can get a whooping in an African home for doing this. What is breathe? What is talking? <laughs> What is not talking? <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah, you damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah. What is sleeping? Ah, okay. What is sleeping too much? What is sleeping too, <laughs> too little? <laughs> yeah. 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 What is not finishing your food? Ah, what is eating, eating too, too much, much food? food. Yeah. Yeah. There's no balance. There's no balance. Yeah, yeah. Anything yeah. and everything. It's okay. It's a chance what for is an African mom favorite line? Huh? An African, an African's, an African mom's favorite line. What is I am your mother? That one is number one. That thing, anything you say, I am, I am your mother. mother. What is? Mm -hmm. It's because of dash dash dash. It's because of it's because mm. of that phone. What is the sacrifices I have made? <laughs> Mama, I'm hungry. The sacrifices. It's because I have of made. your tattoo. For me, for yeah. me. <laughs> doesn't even make sense. For me, I was um. What is? I brought you into this world, and I can take you out. Hey, hey. Mm. They do that for me, I never had that one. Hey, hey. you hear it for the first time. You're like you're joking. They're like no, <coughs> no. What and is no one loves me? You, the, the, the guilt trip. Yeah, the guilt, the guilt trip. trip. The, you guys don't say thank you. Guys you guys don't say thank you. You guys don't love hey. me. Ooh. Ah, what hey. is? Uh -huh. Back in my day. Back ah, in my back day. In, that's also a very big bad thing as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. What is? Oh uh, no. How many more? I think two more. Okay. okay. <laughs> one thing black people are actually on time for. Or Africans for that matter. What is lunchtime? What, what is Nyama Choma? Yeah, what is a party? Oh no, what is church? On what is church? Party. Everyone is it's, on time for church. Party. It's, it's, it's party and then whenever you go to the party, they're always late. Like when the, when the, when the person says chakula iko tayari, they're there. They're there, 100%. I used to, in school, we used to hear the bell. Eh? Mm -hmm. Now, me, who was in uh, sports day, I was one of the slower people. Okay. In uh, just, lunch, just lunch, sports lunch, day lunch chasing day, yeah, just do sports day because I was hiding my speed. Okay. Then... <laughs> Lunch chasing day, let you not let like your you. full speed number one unleash. You're not messing with me. Yeah. I play like rugby. You, you call me John Alum. Okay. okay, and the last one mm -hmm. um, in the neighborhood, people do hair on the hmm? in the neighborhood. Do hair. Yeah. What is hair day? in the salon? The stoop. What? I have no idea. Where do you do your hair? What is salon. in the house by the sink? What if you're by just sitting sink. outside and then yeah. braiding your hair? I, yeah. think, I think I don't know. I don't know that one. That's, that's, that's probably an American one. That's it. <coughs> yeah. We're done. Okay, so let's move on to the discussion today. What is the discussion? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was, it was a question. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, mm. I'll give you that one. That one you got me. That one you got me for the first time you got me. Okay, so. Today we're having a discussion. Uh, discussion. Uh, what is a shrub? Uh, <laughs> today we're having a discussion with regards to Gorongoro Forest yeah. and about um, the challenges that states go through mm. while trying to make decisions that affect groups of people mm -hmm. in, a, in a negative way. Yeah. So for those of you who do not know, the Gorongoro Forest is a, is a space that is it's considered a World Heritage Site. Mm -hmm. um, it has more than 80,000 Maasai inhabitants within the conservancy. Mm -hmm. And for the longest time, I'm sure AX and you, Chris, may have more details about it. For the longest time, um, the government of Tanzania has sought to do other things with that land. Mm -hmm. And they have attempted to evict the people of the Gorongoro Forest. Yeah. And unfortunately, this year, it's gotten quite uh, tense. Um, in fact, it got so, it got so tense yeah. that the Tanzanian leaders from the Gorongoro, the Maasai, uh, have called on President Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga to Inter try and in. intervene yeah. and help them with as, this with this situation. As well as the Maasai leaders here. As well as the Maasai yeah. leaders here. Yeah. So the question that we have um, before us today is, what are the degrees in which a state can make decisions that mm. affect people? And what do you guys think about the whole Gorongoro forest thing? Mm. And uh, yeah, we just want to have a conversation around that. So I'm going to pass it to AX and then we'll have a discussion. After that.
Hmm. Okay, so the reason why <laughs> um, the these Maasai people are trying to be evicted from their home, Tanzanian Maasai, sorry, Tanzanian Maasai, Maasai people mm -hmm. trying to be evicted from their home, mm -hmm. is because they're not trying to get evicted from their home. So. You let me speak. Okay, sorry, I'm, you can I'm go. I've been stuck on the same <laughs> sentence for a minute now. Sorry, apologies. Okay, so no, 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 from their home. There we go. Um, is because. Um, it's like as as GK said, it's supposed to be a conservancy. It's supposed to be a place where animals can roam free and do their animal thing, right? Mm -hmm. The idea is is buttressed by a model of conservation called the fortress conservation model. Mm -hmm. The fortress conservation model is a model based on the belief that the only way you can protect the environment is to remove human beings out of it. Mm. And there's a common sense logic about that, right? Yeah. Like human beings, we are responsible for a lot of harm <coughs> that happens to the environment and mm -hmm. the animals living on that land. Mm -hmm. Therefore, to remove us, you would think that might help things, right? Yeah. Yeah. However, this model is predicated upon the dismissal of the Maasai or the Tanzanian Maasai's traditional way of life, mm -hmm. a way of life they've had for thousands of years mm -hmm. that has proven to be compatible with their environment. Mm -hmm. They make the most of what they have. Yeah. Therefore, to say, hey, we're removing you from your land mm -hmm. because we want to protect the environment mm -hmm. is a bit... It's a challenge because you also hear that the stories of, that they say they want to... Conserve. They, they say the Maasai, the, the population of the animals has really declined, mm -hmm. and so they need to find a way to solve it. Mm -hmm. But they're also setting spaces, uh, uh, apparently, for trophy hunting. Yes. yes. For, for wild sport it's trophy a, hunting. It's a Dubai businessman, <coughs> I think, who wants to, mm -hmm. to come and establish that, that particular thing yeah. in, in that location. Mm. Yeah? Actually, it's been, it's uh, the, in 1992, 4,000 square kilometers of land was given to hunt, was dedicated to hunting <coughs> tourism mm -hmm. to the Dubai company owned yeah. by, I think, a sheikh or something. Mm -hmm. And the company is called Otterlo, Ot Otterlo, Otterlo Business Corporation. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what do you think about it, Chris? Uh, it's, a, it's a tricky one. Mm -hmm. It's a tricky one because I see merit in whatever the Tanzanian government uh, are trying to do. Cause, mm -hmm. Yeah. Whenever there are people living in such environments, I'm not going to. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not saying this with any malice or no, so, no, no, nothing, you, right? Yeah. <clears throat> but these people kill lions. Mm -hmm. That's their way of life, mm. right? And maybe you want to take them out so that you can conserve the lions and preserve the environment, whatever. Mm. Are you moving them from that place to another place that their way of life can continue? Because mm. if that's the case, I may not love it, <coughs> but I'll understand it. Because you see, in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Nairobi used to belong to the Maasai, yeah. the, the Kenyan Maasai. Mm -hmm. But uh, the government that was mm -hmm. in those days, they took Nairobi, mm -hmm. turned it to a capital city and all that, and then the Maasai were taken to, I think, Rongai and those mm. other places. Mm. So if there's a clear plan to move these people to another place where their way of life can continue, mm -hmm. uninterrupted, unhindered, I would be open to that. Okay, so, so, so I would, uh, if you allow me to go first, then you go. I, I wanted to touch on two things you said there. The yeah. first thing you said is about how um, <clears throat> how do I explain it? What you s exactly what you said? You said how the Maasai, mm. um, the, the the killing of the the lions and yeah. all those things, and that's something that I'd like to debunk a little bit please, because please. Oh. <coughs> imagine, imagine I'm on your side. Mm. Um, I'm, that's not what I was. I'm guessing I, you. I, I believed <laughs> the myth. I'm surprised. No, no, the Maasai is. Th it is a true thing that, that they oh, okay. did go out sometimes the, to the, kill the, the to kill lions. Then what are you debunking? Group, the, now I'm debunking the whole idea that that is the reason for endangerment because okay. the the, the Real reality about it is the Maasai have interacted within those spaces mm. for generations. For generations. Yes. For generations. Mm. And you haven't seen mm. in any of those generations, mm. you haven't seen a decline in the animal population. Okay. In fact, it's us in terms of us wanting to develop mm. the most. If you look at Europe, if you look at the US, if you look at all these spaces, what endangers the animals the most is development. And I'm not I'm saying development is a great thing. But we can't necessarily point it to that finger and say that they are the cause for mm -hmm. endangerment. Mm -hmm. Because history shows us that no, we, we really are kind of the cause, all of us, yeah. and not necessarily that community. Mm. Mm -hmm. I was I was gonna say not necessarily all of us. Mm -hmm. um, so now I have now I have points to respond to both of you. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So to your response about like if you if you knew they were being resettled, resettled in a place that would allow them to live dignified lives, then you'd be okay with it, yes. right? Yeah. Let me give a little information. Please. Mm -hmm. No. They're, they're not being resettled that mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. um, so um, apparently, according to ba according to field research that was done on the three proposed resettlement locations, mm -hmm. um, they lack adequate water, they lack sufficient grazing land, mm -hmm. and they lack infrastructure that was promised by the government. For example, the government said, hey, if we move you to this place mm -hmm. from here, you'll be closer to hospitals and schools and roads and electricity and all that stuff is important. Mm -hmm. But apparently none of that is, is, is there, there mm -hmm. number one. Number two, also local non-Masai residents who of the of the places where these Maasai people are going mm. say they were never consulted. They were mm. never asked if they wouldn't want to have new people in their communities. Mm -hmm. And 
be in the absence of that request, friction will definitely yeah, occur. Right? Yeah. That is my response to you. Mm -hmm. Now, you. for you. Mm -hmm. You do have a point, right? Mm -hmm. um, I remember reading a paper that suggested that this whole movement and this whole tint towards conservation mm -hmm. is because when the Europeans came and did their colonizing thing, mm -hmm. they were the ones responsible for the massive loss of numbers yeah. of animals. Mm -hmm. For example, an estimated 80,000 tigers were slaughtered in India between 1875 and 1925. Mm. 80 thousand yeah. currently the global tiger population is less than four thousand individuals Whoa. Mm. yeah Whoa. so i just find it really funny that they then turn around and say was conserve, it conserve, conserve, conserve. not even that like <clears throat> was it prince william that said um africa's population is is is, an, is a danger to its wildlife uh, it's like, yeah, that, that that thing drove us all a little crazy like, because dude you have three kids un unfortunately <laughs> we we've, we've we've done uh we've we've done damage but you can't really Compare, compare it to the damage your family and you have done. But I think we don't even need to look at Tanzania. Mm. Tanzania is the current example before us. Yeah. But And maybe we know it more because we're Kenyans. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you guys look to South Africa, for example, the Khoisan, mm -hmm. or the Sun and the Khoi people, mm. are going through a similar battle with Amazon. Mm -hmm. So Amazon had said they're going to come and build their headquarters in Africa. And of course, they had pinpointed South Africa as their location. Mm -hmm. And so a huge mm. project was developed in the middle of the Sun and Khoi people's land. That makes mm -hmm. sense. And so because that's um, to a developer, that's bare land. And that's so, right. so they go and they say they're going to develop um, the huge Amazon headquarters, plus a number of other things, schools, hospitals, big project. Mm. And unfortunately, it's unfortunately or unfortunately, the Khoisan didn't feel adequately consulted with it. Mm. And so they took the Amazon and all those guys to court. And actually, it's been frozen at court. Yeah. But it, it does indicate an interesting question, which is the first question I was going to ask you mm -hmm. guys. The truth of, of the matter is governments are always going to look for an opportunity to expand their reach and expand their capacity to make an income and make an impact in different ways. Mm -hmm. And so when they look at these, just like how they looked at um, parts of Kenya, parts of South Africa, as we're saying with the Khoi and the San people, mm -hmm. they're going to look at it from two lenses. And this is not in, a, in an effect to, um, to, to hurt anybody. But the lens, number one, is the value addition you're going to make. Mm -hmm. And the other lens is the development you're going to... It's so all like about... It's cost-benefit analysis. It's cost-benefit analysis. So, for, so yeah. they're looking at how to develop. They're not necessarily thinking about the, 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 the communities they're going to affect. Now they're thinking about what they're going to develop for the future. Mm -hmm. And that's how a number of areas have developed, either for the better or for the worse. So the question that I wanted you guys to ask before our time runs out, uh, the, to answer before our time runs out, is where does that line... Where, where should you draw that line? Mm -hmm. Where a, a government must look at sort of development on one side, and conservancy on the other side. You know, Kenya, we had our whole battle where conservancy won, and that was a great win for all of us. Yeah. Wangare Madhai with mm -hmm. the Karura Forest and with the Huru Park. Park yeah. she, um, she won, and that was great for us. Yeah. So where does that line, and where do you draw that line in other cases? So we'll start with you, Chris, then we'll end up with it. This, well. this may sound mean, but mm -hmm. it's the truth, yeah? Sometimes the I government is mm -hmm. caught is caught in this, in this, in this catch-22 situation, yeah? Mm -hmm. Idioms. So what happens is... We, 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 we sit here demanding mm -hmm. for development, right? Mm -hmm. We say we want this, we want this, we need this, we need that. Mm -hmm. Where do we, you see land is, you, you can't grow land, mm -hmm. yeah? It's, 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 it's a finite, it's, it's finite, it's there. Mm -hmm. And see, the, the, the way of life of the Maasai, mm -hmm. to, to an extent, it's, it's not sustainable. Yes. yes, they take huge tracts of land to graze, to, they move from this place to this other place. Mm -hmm. But then they tell you, don't, don't, don't mind, this is still ours, yeah. but we're not using it now, you're mm -hmm. using this other place. Mm -hmm. So at some point, it, it, it's not sustainable because as the country grows, we need more land, we need more spaces, more resources. Mm -hmm. And at some point, we need to take it, kind mm -hmm. of. Mm -hmm. So I understand why the government is doing that, mm -hmm. but I also need for the government to do their calculations. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It can't be all about profit mm -hmm. and you, you don't even consider the lives the of life. your people. Mm -hmm. they, they Look at that. You're sounding like me. Mm. And, 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 and I'm now worried. <laughs> sure yeah, but yeah, you need to also worry about people. Mm. You, you can't always just be about the bottom line. Yeah. But I understand also mm -hmm. why they're doing that because it's, it's the same thing that we are demanding of them. Mm. Right now we keep telling our president, build us more roads, build us railway, build. Those roads have to pass somewhere. Yeah. So unfortunately, mm -hmm some of these people will be, will be touched. Mm. Yes, um, I do agree with everything that you've said. Mm -hmm. um, I do also find it really funny that whenever a government is thinking about doing development in a particular area, often, more than often than not, the most vulnerable communities are impacted. Mm -hmm. And my mind isn't even going to South Africa, it's going to the Native Americans in the US because there was this huge oil pipeline that was supposed to pass uh, through their territory. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think the Supreme Court finally said, yeah, you, you, it can pass, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But the pipeline had actually been rerouted from another r route mm -hmm. to, to specifically pass through this pipeline mm -hmm. because it was supposed to be like the path of least resistance. Mm. So 
for me that for, for no, why are you laughing i was bopping mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. for me like that is for me that is where the issue lies this idea that like whenever you're about to do development mm-hmm. is it that you're looking out for the past of le- path of least resistance so mm-hmm. you seek out the most vulnerable communities the kind of people that you can bulldoze mm-hmm. because it's a lot easier to get development your way mm-hmm. and eventually people will just forget about it mm-hmm. number one Number two, I still don't like the logic because that logic underpinned colonialism, Mm -hmm. right? All the harms that our people, our grandparents, our great-grandparents went through was justified under the logic of, but see, it's for your good. Mm. Eventually, you don't worry. Eventually, everything will be fine. Don't Mm. worry. Mm. Don't worry. It's for your good. And it's like, but I'm, I'm, I'm not good right now. People suffer in the here and now. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what governments sometimes forget. I really like that, what you said, which is what it's going to be our closing remark, the path of least resistance. Yes. That's something interesting that I'm going to read up but wait. on myself. Oh, let, no. me, <laughs> l- l- let me ask this. Yeah? Oh, no. I, I heard what you said, and I kind of agree with it. Mm-hmm. But do you think everyone should sacrifice for the better good of the, of the, of the, of the people? I think mm-hmm. the, the very nature of living in society demands that everyone is sacrificing exactly. all the time, mm-hmm. right? So, so if... Let's say, for example, railway. Yeah. You want to build a railway or uh, electricity p- uh, lines, whatever. Mm-hmm. You will also enjoy them, mm-hmm. but you don't want them to pass through your mm-hmm. your, territory. your territory all mm-hmm. because it's going to disrupt your no, way no, of no. life. It's, it's, mm-hmm. it's not just that. It's this idea of like, why is it always me? Why is it that whenever the country is about to, uh, I'm speaking specifically to the Native American example, right? Mm-hmm. Even for them, I think for them it's like, why is it always us? Why is it always that whenever the America wants to expand, where is it whenever, whenever America needs to develop, mm-hmm. it comes at the cost of our lives mm-hmm. and our way of life? Mm. Why is it always us? And I think that's the question. Okay, okay. so we're going to take a break right there. We'll be back after the break where we'll conclude with our final. Welcome back to Work in Progress. So now to conclude, we're going to give you some interesting stories regarding animals. Mm. So I want to, okay, if you're going to allow me to give you a bit of a lead up. Okay, fine. My favorite game as a child, board game, mm. was a game called Elephant Never Forgets. Oh my God. Imagine, it was a board game. It had all these things and it was all, all this thing about memory, trying to get memory in, your ki- in a kid's mind mm. th- that was great. And the story AX has told a little bit of, a bit to me about, mm. eh, clearly. <laughs> My game was correct. I'm going to try to be as respectful as possible, mm-hmm. but please note the story is, is, is low-key funny. Okay. Um, so, um, there's a woman in India called Maya Murmu. Mm-hmm. Now, one day, Maya Murmu was minding her business. Mm-hmm. She was just going about her day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then she sees an elephant literally, like, running towards her. Mm-hmm. And the elephant tramples her. Unfortunately, like, tramples her to, like, mm-hmm. death. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, she dies. But then the elephant is like, no, 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 it's not enough. Mm-hmm. The elephant then goes to her house. The same elephant. The same elephant and tramples it too. But it gets worse. Mm-hmm. So a couple of weeks later, the family's like, oh my God, we need to bury our, our dear friend Maya. Mm-hmm. Now, they're, as they're doing like the cleansing rite and the final funeral ritual, like rites and everything, mm-hmm. that same elephant comes back. <laughs> Sorry. That same elephant comes back uh-huh. and tramples her corpse again. And like really just... Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then mm-hmm. just leaves. Just goes back. Now, according to according to Joyce Poole, who's a researcher at the Amboseli Elephant Research Project here in Kenya, course, elephants are more than capable of vengeance. They're very intelligent, and because of the very good memories, mm-hmm. they, they remember a long time, so they know mm-hmm. who to take revenge against. Mm-hmm. My question is, mm-hmm. I don't know what she did, because this is not this is petty. You this is petty. And we'll probably never know if she did anything and what she yeah. did. But as, as Africans were always taught, you know, you don't, you don't upset animals, especially elephants because they never forget yeah and india the stories you get there do you remember the story chris you and i talked about it once yeah. about a tiger a tiger in siberia yeah. Yeah, a tiger yeah. in siberia yeah. so two guys are going for the uh, disturb the tiger yeah and instead of the tiger sort of just saying it's cool i'm moving on mm-hmm. the tiger follows them and tracks them all night to their, their cabin, yeah. their cabin yeah. and yeah. mauls them but kills them to death but in, so i think animal, what, what happens is mm-hmm. like with this lady mm. and uh rip to her mm. <laughs> but she must have done something like chica is saying because mm-hmm. f- no. for, for elephant i think the elephant will have just killed her oh, mm-hmm. then like go, gone on in there this, yeah, like, this yeah. day mm-hmm. okay but like doesn't it feel a bit victim blamey to like say yeah, that she is. kind of deserved it no, no, she I'm, must not she, have done I'm not saying she deserved it mm-hmm. i'm just trying to rationalize as to why the as elephant a, as did what it did we do we rationalize yeah. yeah okay well rumor has it that the area where this entire 
mm-hmm. event occurred. Mm-hmm. Um, apparently, the, the people in that area had killed a lot of elephants yeah. before. Mm-hmm. But if no, but no, no, but here's the thing. The no, 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 no. But, but if that's we, the case, why this specific this woman? Person? That's the question. The elephant even so, came back to, to, to uh, trample her corpse. So what happened? There is a, <laughs> this, this is a saying in Swahili that says, "Mtegoapanya mm-hmm. no. unasa waliokuemo mm-hmm. na wasiokuemo." So mm-hmm. maybe these elephants mm-hmm. they were just in the jungle over there, just plotting. They're like. <laughs> One day we need to make it clear to these people that they can't mess with us. Uh. So now, unfortunately, <laughs> the fun. person that this elephant chose mm. was that lady, uh-huh. and then the, 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 this was the hitman. Now mm. this elephant was the hitman. Like, wow. now go 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 do the business. So I feel so like now, you're asking too much of elephants. You no, know, she, when she gave the story for the elephants, it made me start to Google like stories about animals and things they've done. Mm. And one of the funniest things to me is is when animals get arrested. Mm. So in in Africa, there've been two occasions where in the last like month where. Uh, a goat and a cow have been arrested mm. for the same thing, for, for, for murder. Mm. And they've been put in jail. Um, it's a whole thing. The one in Sudan, I can't remember what the other one is. But I have one more thing. To th- there's this one story about a, a pigeon. Mm-hmm. So in, pa- in India, a pigeon flew past the border in Pakistan. Imagine it was arrested. Oh, Pakistan. And, it was, and then it had a, a tag. It was told, this one is spying. Mm. After days of research, they found out this is a pet. Mm. A pigeon. A pigeon was arrested and given like the full treatment of you're a spy, they, water, they, they, bo- you know, took che- <laughs> yeah. checking everything. We so there's ways of making countless, talk. there's countless stories of how animals and humans have interacted. Let me give you one real quick before mm-hmm. we conclude. Mm-hmm. I think there were baboons in Nyeri, oh baboons or something God. like that. Mm-hmm. So when when women were going to the market, no. they would make some gestures that were not. We, we can't make them here, but yeah. they were not good gestures. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They were sexual in nature. Mm-hmm. But whenever a man would pass by, mm-hmm. they would just chill like, hey, we're just having our own day. Mm-hmm. No, 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 nothing to see here. Mm-hmm. So they knew to distinguish between a man, man and a woman. woman. Mm-hmm. And when a woman was passing by, mm-hmm. they would harass that woman mm-hmm. sexually. Ah. They would do some things that, yeah, it's a story. So you need to, to tell me that as a woman, I not only have to be wary of my fellow men, but also now animals. Animals. Can you imagine? No, you don't have to be wary of men. There's nothing wrong with men. <laughs> we will Just those we'll have this discussion, we'll have this discussion okay. another day. Okay. Anyways, thank you so much for watching Work in Progress. We hope that you've enjoyed and you have a brilliant week ahead of you and we will be with you next time. And never forget, an elephant never, never forgets. forgets. And neither do we.